Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. As a purchasing agent or purchasing manager, you can set up vendor evaluation criteria to evaluate vendor performance. You might be wondering how this is going to be helpful in terms of procuring the goods. Yes, of course, it will help you to take informed decisions to procure the goods from the respective vendors. The best choice for a particular kind of criteria who you need to go ahead and whom you should not decide. So in this video, we are going to discuss in detail about the vendor evaluation process. And, and in the end of the video, I'm also going to share an important tip regarding how to search the vendors based on the evaluation criteria setup. So please do watch until end. So in order to set up vendor evaluation criteria, navigate to procurement and sourcing module under setup, click on vendors and vendor evaluation criterion groups. So first user need to create a vendor evaluation criteria group. So I just uh, going to create a vendor evaluation group called a uh, service. So already I have created a uh, multiple vendor evaluation criterion groups. So in this particular group, I am going to evaluate the service capability of the vendors. So first user need to create a vendor evaluation group, save this. And after creating the vendor evaluation group, now navigate back to the same path where you need to create a vendor evaluation criteria. You may need to create multiple vendor uh, evaluation criteria. You can create in the system. Th that's possible. So let's say in this particular case, to manage to evaluate the service, I am creating turnaround time. Um, you can also add a description, lengthy description if you want, and uh, tag that particular criteria to the criteria group service. I save this. I add one more particular criteria, maybe um, customer support, whether the vendor is uh, supporting over phone calls whenever I place orders to the vendor or not. So I create uh, one more criteria as customer support and I also tag this in the service. Maybe I tag one more uh, one more valuation criteria like uh, purchase uh, documentations, whether uh, the vendor is able to provide uh, the recommended documentations which help me to complete my purchasing transactions in the system. So I created three criteria and tagged it to the vendor evaluation criterion group which I already created service. So I save this. So after creating the vendor evaluation group and creating the criteria and tagging it to the groups, now user need to navigate to procurement and sourcing module, procurement categories. Inside the procurement categories, based on the parent node or child node, you can tag those vendor evaluation criteria. Let's say already I have created a um, product list of products which are under this particular node now for this particular node i can add the vendors let's say i am going to add maybe these three vendors skybag and uh, opel and compact so i need to click on this arrow click on ok so now these three vendors are added for this particular node also if you scroll down further i will be able to add the vendor evaluation criteria group so here you can see the vendor evaluation group service is available i add this particular evaluation group and then i click on ok now this evaluation criteria is added so now after adding the evaluation criterion group now i can select the vendor and then i click on evaluation on the top now you can see user will be the purchasing manager will be able to rate the vendor for the respective criteria for the turnaround time maybe i find this particular vendor is very is poor uh, uh, in terms of customer support okay he is doing fair enough but and uh, in terms of purchase documentation is good and then i save this i go back and uh, i select skybag in terms of skybag i find uh, their turnaround time is excellent and their customer support is also excellent maybe i'll put good but uh, in terms of purchase documentation they are doing fairly enough i save this I go back i evaluate the next vendor compact compact in terms of uh, the turnaround time they are very poor customer support also very poor and the purchase documentation is also poor now i save this i go back you may be wondering why the, the analogy of providing poor, very poor, excellent, how it will help us. So after providing the rating 
the, you might not have noticed that when I try to save this T365 automatically provides the average rating based on the ratings provided by us under the various criteria and conditions so for uh, this particular criteria service this vendor Opal is rated as num number three in terms of uh, the same rating Skybag is rated as number four and uh, in terms of the same criteria compact is rated as with an average rating of 1.5 this is purely based on the rating whichever provided by us so now we have created an evaluation criteria and then we created a group assigned it in the procurement and sourcing category and uh, we also evaluated the vendors now after doing that like i said in the beginning of the video you can also do a vendor search based on these vendor criteria. you may have thousands of vendors available in your system right so and you need to identify the best possible or best applicable vendor for a particular criteria maybe price or service so in our case we are going to do this vendor search by the vendor evaluation criterion group click on the plus icon and then you can see that this vendor service evaluation criteria group is available now add this and then now click on ok so after clicking on ok now once again in the vendor search page you again click on ok and then now as you can see system tries to bring over the possible vendors who are performing as far as the rating is concerned so system brings these are the list of vendors for whom the ratings have been done by the uh, purchasing managers or uh, purchasing agents who are potential for us in terms of pro offering the best service to us from the same page user will also be able to create a purchase order if required or also they can select multiple vendors and then they can create a request for quotation to get the cost price from multiple vendors so that's about the vendor evaluation process but uh, the thing is what i find to be a disadvantage in these cases is like vendor evaluation scores must be updated manually as you can see we manually updated it in the procurement and source in the procurement categories um, so we need to select the node and uh, these are not linked to the transactions based on the physical receipt date and uh, your uh, purchase order confirmation date these are not based on that these are purely subjective so i may feel that for purchase documentation is excellent for opal but another purchasing manager may feel that they are doing poor so this is that's one thing which i feel to be a disadvantage as far as vendor evaluation is concerned another point is there is no front end screen where we can compare between multiple vendors uh, the vendor search is the only option and it's also not allowing us to compare between the multiple vendor uh, or, or the vendor groups so that's another disadvantage of uh, using this vendor evaluation process hope you learned a new topic today follow Sriram Sivashankaran for more Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operations related videos and of course I do share some posts and articles regarding career related tips and hacks and of course some office memes to have some fun part to the LinkedIn profile so please do like share and uh, share your thoughts in comment section and uh, hope to see you in another video thank you